Ladies and gentlemen, happy new year. Uh, and it's time for business. I mean, we can't even, I couldn't even enjoy the, the, uh, the, um, festivities last night and all that kind of stuff because I'm like, man, we got a game on Saturday. And I didn't think they was going to do that to us with the Dallas Cowboys. I thought we were going to put us in the, the prime spot on, on, on Sunday, but they gave that to the Philadelphia Eagles, I guess, cause they, they, they're Super Bowl champs or whatever. But, um, first of all, let me talk about that. I want to talk about that. Then I want to talk about, um, uh, what's happening as far as the podcast that will be uploaded tonight and what we're going to talk about moving forward. Um, but I, as we were going through the last weeks of the season, I kept saying that uh, watch out for Philadelphia, 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 Philadelphia. And um, I even thought that when they had Carson Wentz, but when after the game with us and they, <laughs> excuse me, they benched Carson Wentz for, for, uh, for Nick Foles, then my ear, like, like I told you, my ears perked up. I'm like, man, this team could start, you know, playing like they did last year. And then, of course, I went out to see them versus the Rams, blah, blah, blah. And now the Eagles are in the playoffs. And she and, you know, if you don't know my wife, Shinola Hampton, she's a big Vikings fan. And she was up there almost in tears just now like, well, what could have happened? Why were we so bad? Why are you in the playoffs and we we're at home? Blah, 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 blah. And, and, I, and I told him, I told her my belief and it kind of it kind of pertains to us. And I've been thinking about it a lot. But then with that quarterback position, I know during 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 the streams, if you were here last week, I kept calling Kirk Cousins a loser. You paid a whole lot of money for a beautiful arm that is a loser. <laughs> and that's and, and that's what you got. But it's, it's, it's more particular than that, because I don't give as much credit and blame to quarterbacks as you do as some of you or whatever. But. It's more about the formula and the fit of that player inside the offensive system and, and exactly the whole team. And Case Keenum fit that last season. He doesn't have the arm that Kirk Cousins, no, but he fit what uh, Minnesota needed and they wouldn't get too pass happy and they would keep their defense fresh by running their running back and things of that sort. So they had a good formula last year, a winning formula. Now this year, they were, I mean, not only were they trying to throw the ball a little bit, not a little bit, a whole lot more <laughs> just because, oh, wow, we got a quarterback that can throw it again. You got a quarterback that, I mean, you spent a whole bunch of money. You got a whole bunch of bad energy. And we saw that when he's sitting there like a child yelling at Thielen, you should do this and then this and then you go. There. I mean, he looked, I, it was, it was, it, it was bad to watch if you're a Minnesota Vikings fan because you paid a lot of money for that guy and you paid a lot of money for that guy to do some amazing things for your football team. And he's just doing the same thing he did in Washington, which is the reason why Washington didn't sign him, which was clue number one for you. So um, with, with, with us, I just think I, 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 I cannot judge Dak Prescott as great quarterback, bad quarterback, this quarterback, that quarterback or whatever. But I can tell you, it seems like he fits <laughs> what we're trying to do. It, it, just, it just seems like that to me. So uh, we've got to go through this game. Um, they've got another guy over there in, in Seattle that can, that can win on his own. He can, they got a powerful running game, so they're going to play very similar to us. So the game, the game on Saturday is going to be crazy. So tonight I will upload the first late, late tonight because I'm on the West Coast, so it's going to be you, you'll get it in the morning. But I'm going to have the first long form uh, podcast so we can talk about everything that we need to talk about with this game. And then I'll uh, go on more into the playoffs tomorrow. But man, it's I mean, Happy New Year. Now it's go time. And I was thinking about the players, man, they didn't. <laughs> They didn't have any holiday because if you're playing and you have a game on Saturday in like three, what, three, three, four days, three days, um, you, you haven't celebrated anything. You've been working, straight up working, I hope. All right, guys, holla at you. Peace.